Hello, welcome back to Lolo's Kitchen and welcome back YouTube people. Um, so today we are going to um, we are going to make a chocolate cherry spicy cupcake. This is for the spice eaters, spicy eaters, because a lot of people eat a lot of spices and sometimes um, they look for it elsewhere, but we're going to put it in dessert today to see how it turns out. Actually, it's pretty good because I taste it myself. All right, so we're going to get started over here. Um, everything, all of the measurements is on my description when you go to my, my, uh, my channel. So we're going to start off with all the dry ingredients. We have flour. This is one cup, one and three-fourth cup of flour and two tablespoons of flour. Two cups of sugar, one cup of, three fourth cup, sorry, of unsweetened cocoa powder. And here, there's a combination of baking soda, one, tape, one teaspoon of baking soda, one, you know what, let me not do the measures here because I kind of forgot them, but this is baking soda, baking powder, and salt in here. We put that in together. Take your whisk. Mix everything together really good. This recipe is really good. It's really moist, quick, and delicious. Alright. Alright, so once we mix this all, together really good. Um, I am going to, I have to add all of the wet ingredients, a cup of milk, one cup of, three fourth cup of oil, and two eggs lightly beaten. And I'm actually going to go away right now for about two minutes until I beat it because the mixer is really loud. And then I come back and let you see what's going on here. So we add the oil, milk, Beaten. All right, and then I'm going to say goodbye for now and hello in a little bit. All right, we are back. We did all that with mixing, so it's mixed up really good. I added the, the accent and all of that good stuff, all of the yummies. Um, so here we go. This is one cup of freshly chopped cherries. And instead of vanilla extract, we're going to use cherry extract. And again, this is one of the things you kind of put it to your taste. A lot of times when they um, depend on the recipe, you really can't taste it. So I usually just add a little more. That's probably about a half a teaspoon. I mean, no, actually about a teaspoon. Mix that in. I tried to chop up enough cherry so you can get cherry in almost every bite of the cupcake. Now. This batter, actually not done, we have one more ingredient. We're going to add a cup of hot water. Let that run a little bit to get nice and hot. And once the water's in, that's it. You want to put them in a, in a muffin pan, and, I'm sorry, the cupcake pan, and put them in the oven. One cup of water. Good. You can smell the cherries. Smell really good. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I say one ingredient. We got two. We got, I forgot the spice. This is the black pepper. I'm not going to use red pepper flakes because you may bite down on one, and I think I would just rather like a little kick of black or white pepper instead of the biting down on a, on a red pepper flake. Shake a little of that in there. Let's pour about a, about a teaspoon. Mix that in. Let's taste it to see how spicy it is. Should we taste it, camera lady? All right. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
to you, one for me. I think I might add a little more, just a little more white pepper, just a little more. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's coming, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it now. It's slowly creeping up. It's a creeper. <laughs> All right. Now, you are ready to put them into, and it looked like this batter is too thin, but it's not. These cupcakes are so moist and delicious. So the cupcake pan, you can either spray this or you can put a little, um, if you spray it, I would not use olive oil. I would use like a, just um, a plain spray or a butter flavor. Or you can just take this and wipe on the top just in case. Sometimes they kind of cook up out of the muffin lid, lip on liner. And you don't want them to get stuck to the pan. So you just wipe. Yeah, I, can, I can taste that white pepper. Okay, there you go. Boom. Now, you just going to pour it. Look at the cherries. See how the cherries? Yum, yum, yum. All right. Let's pour this in. You're going to put about three, two thirds. Put this about two thirds. I made these um, last week with two of uh, two, I can't call them little girls now because they are seven and nine, two of the young ladies that I sometimes babysit and, well, I'm going to say babysit, we hang out and bake, so we bake cupcakes. So we actually, after what I so I in an oven baking, we're going to make a cream cheese frosting for this. And we're going to put a little of the cherry extract in there to give it a cherry flavor. Oops. And I'm gonna show you a way to, working with the cream cheese is supposed to be room temperature, but I purposely didn't do room temperature and I'm gonna show you how you can easily soften it up real quick. All right, one more. Wipe off our muffin pan. This is going to cook on 350 for 22. Depends on which way you like it. I like cooking on the top shelf. A lot of people cook on the bottom shelf. This left over here. And there we go. All right. Now we are going to make our cream cheese frostings really quick and easy. Quick way to do the cream is not to salt up the cream cheese. Cream cheese, leave it intact. Hot water. And as soon as you can feel it soft, you can take it out. I'm gonna squeeze it, help it to loosen up. All right, I'm, well, I just, I'm gonna let this sit for a little while I grab everything else. So we need, and I made, I actually did a back to it cooled off so we can frost in that. So I'm gonna bring that over here. This out of the way. And then we have our, this is two cups of um, white sugar, a half a cup of butter, which is a stick of butter, the cream cheese, and the cherry extract. And I'm going to, once I, I put the cream cheese in, I'm going to go away, uh, I'm going to go away again for two minutes because I have to turn the mixer on again and it's really loud. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. All right, good people, YouTube people, we are back. So I whipped my um, two cups of sugar, white sugar, white powder, confession of sugar, and um, a block of cream cheese and one stick of butter. And then I'm gonna add a little cherry extract in this. It's about a, a, a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Again, depends on your taste. 
You want a little more? You put a little more. A little less, a little less. Mix it in. And if you want any, if you're not for sure if this is enough, just taste it. You always want to taste what other people are going to eat, so you know how to taste first. So just mix that in. So this is how much this makes. With two cups of sugar, a block of drink of cream cheese, and one stick of butter. That's a lot. Let's taste it. Nice and creamy, camera lady. Yes? Okay. Alright, here we go. We want to get started. Let's pick uh, any mini miny. No. Look how moist that is. How soft that is. Alright, I'm gonna take my paper off first before I put my icing on it, my frosting on it. You can actually see the cherries in it. See the bits of cherry? I can't wait to eat it. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this on here. Look how nice and, and smooth that is. And if you have um, one of the bag pipes with the different tips on it, you can use and make different designs. You can put food coloring in it and change the color if you would like. All right, it's nice and fluffy. Remember you wanna cut it? Look at that. Wow. Can you see that? The bits of the cherries in it? Let's see what it tastes. Mmm. I just got a piece of cherry. It melts in your mouth. It's yummy. I'm going to let my camera friend taste the cupcake. This is yummy. Look how it's shaped. It jiggles. That's the moistness in it. Delicious. Um, Alright, so please go to my channel and hit the strike button if you would like. Let me know what you like. I really would love your feedback, negative or positive. Negative, constructive. Constructive feedback, I will always welcome. Um, comments, if anything that you want me to do, do you have any questions, do you have any recipes, any spices, whatever, anything, give me some of your dishes that you make, some of the spices that you use. I would love that. It's nothing wrong with trying new things. That's one of my about trying new things, trying new foods. Too many foods in the world to eat the same thing and the same spices all the time. All right? So next week, let me say this first. My and my family usually do this big family cookout every year, and now I'm the one that usually have to make the potato salad. So, we're doing potato salad next week with six ingredients. And I'm not going to put a whole lot of different things in my potato salad. So that's what we're going to be making next week. Not for sure if I'm going to do a meat. If we are, I don't know what it is right now. I'm going to come up with something I'm doing a week. All right. Thank you. And hopefully you will subscribe to my channel. And I will see you later in Lolo's Kitchen. Goodbye.